Okay, now Professor of Cultural Studies Elizabeth Wilson has suggested that if you're bored with the obligations and rituals that Christmas throws up, then maybe it's time you got in touch with your inner Christmas rebel. She gives examples of women who've enjoyed a Christmas day with a difference thanks to following their feelings instead of those obligations and says Christmas should be a self-indulgent holiday where you please yourself. So is she right? It is now the season to listen to your inner Christmas rebel and are you brave enough to kick off and kick back? I have this year. I've been a real rebel this year. I've, you? you know, because I've, I've always been the family one, the traditional one, the one that's... And I've just said, no, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> it's too much stress. I can't cope with it. So everybody's staying in their own houses at Christmas and uh, I'll ring them and say, Merry Christmas, how you doing? <laughs> I can't be bothered, I just can't be bothered with all the food preparation. I can't be bothered with the getting the getting up at the crack of dawn. Well, my mother used to do it, getting up at the crack of dawn, putting the turkey in. Yeah. There's just so much to do, it's so much stress. I went to a party at my neighbours, Janet and Richards, the other night and I said, how on earth do you do this? Because it was just one of the best parties I've ever been to. And she says, well, everybody just brings a bit. I don't do anything. Ah. And I thought, that that's it. That's, that's, the, way it. that's the, way the way to do it. it. Yeah. I think everybody should come to, to, if you want to have a family Christmas and do a course, you know, let one f part of the family bring the start and then the expense of it all as well. Yeah. Then yeah. the washing up. It's like, forget it. I'm not doing it. So yeah. I've been a rebel. It's just me and Ed this Good year. For you. And uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm doing the same to a degree this year. I'm taking the year off because for the last three years, Darren and I have always hosted um, the Christmas celebrations and everyone comes to us. And last year was just a, it was a really difficult Christmas um, for, for, for me and, and my side of the family because my dear old nan, who just was the matriarch of the family and, and the focus point of, of, of all of our lives, really, she sadly passed away on the 23rd of December, which just put a, a whole different feeling over, over that whole period. And then, you know, I just had a baby and suddenly we had this house full of people doing hot... I mean, we were just, like, cooks and cleaners. Yeah. It cost us over yeah. grand in food and drinks. Oh, it is. It's a lot, isn't it? And, and with a new baby to care for who was up all night and, and the house full and, and, gosh, by the end of it, I just felt like I needed a holiday. So this year, we've said, you know what, this year, we'll come to you, mm -hmm. we'll bring the baby, you can all coo at him, cos he is beautiful. Oh, of course. And that's my <laughs> gift to everyone, is my son. Oh, that's the way to do it. So relieved because this time last year, I mean, obviously we were kind of, you know, grieving desperately, but yeah. I just felt this anxiety of, oh God, I've got to do the sausage rolls, oh, I've got to do this, okay. and you fret and stress about things that actually aren't important. Does that matter? It, shouldn't about that. it shouldn't be about that. I do think it's different when you've got kids. Um, I mean, Molly spends Christmas with me for, since I've been separated. She does, but I wouldn't actually mind if she wanted to spend it with her dad. Really? No, not at all. I mean, I have sort of different religion, so therefore it's not obviously You're quite. I'm Jewish, okay. Yeah. So it's not quite as important to me. Although you know, historically, one does kind of enjoy the holiday season. Um, but I wouldn't mind, and I kind of think it might be nice to just go off and do something completely different. Generally, in sunshine, so it works for me. Go on holiday, <laughs> sit on a sunbed, glass of wine in one hand. But if in fact, no, share it. We should. We could go. You, I could get you in a rebellious mood. We could go on a little singles oh, holiday, no. maybe. Yeah. Sherry and I over Christmas. No, I, I can't. Can see your no. We can. I can't. Why? Not at Christmas because I've got to have my Ollie mm. and my <laughs> Keely. Listen, why don't you just have a turkey like everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is. I can't. I have to see my family at Christmas. I mean, I just have to. If I were to be a rebel, mm -hmm. I would be a rebel with a palm tree. Right. That's what I'd have. It's a palm tree <laughs> and a beach and some oh, seeds. Yes. Yeah. No, no, so, no men involved in this, perchance? Uh, well, I would, uh, to be honest with you, Rachel, I wouldn't know what to do with them. Well, they do <laughs> say Christmas is for giving and receiving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, no, but it's been a long time since I've received presents. Um, so I, 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 I'll give him one for that. Yes, I'll give him one. <laughs> yes, and you'd know all about that. Anyway, um, <laughs> but the thing is, I am. I, so I'm not a rebel. I like to be with Ollie and I like it's children. You like children is Christmas. But it's have about you children. ever rebelled at Christmas, Sherry? Have well, you ever yes, said I did. No? Um, I did <laughs> we did have a re very strange Christmas. Keely and her friend were about 12, and they kept, we had a big Christmas. There's about 15 of us. But unfortunately, we went to the pub at 11 wow. o'clock, and we stayed there till 3. So we were all drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and walking home, one of my friends fell over and broke his leg. <laughs> None of us cared, and he was taken <laughs> off by an ambulance. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
So poor Keely Brins had to go and make the... Well, the turkey was ready, and we were all going, oh, this is good for us. One of us was having to... Yeah, Keely was 12 year old. 12 and she year absolutely old. She made to do My sister-in-law, Annie, got up. She'll hate me for saying this. She got up and she didn't see the chair fell straight over the top of the chair <laughs> on her head. Legs like that akimbo. I was going, oh, that's the funniest sight I've ever seen. She's like, oh. Well, it was terrible. So we were so drunk. We all just fell asleep, and there's Keely and Prudence with a stuffy noise. Oh. <laughs> you have been a rebel, I know, yeah. but they did see the funniest side of it. In the end. Yeah. <laughs> it rebel, rebel, rebel. Rebel, 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 rebel rouser. Good. That's such a disturbing <laughs> nativity scene there. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the sister in law with the legs. It's like another wishbone, isn't it? <laughs> well, we didn't have a vase, so we <laughs> <laughs> Sherry's idea of Christmas, get your 12-year-old to cook it for you whilst you're so drunk you can't walk straight. I don't know. <laughs> OK, it's competition time now.